Hello, I'm Steve Ferber and on behalf of my co-authors at the Universities of Manchester and Southampton in the UK, I'd like to introduce our paper which presents an overview of the Spinnaker system architecture. Uh, this paper um, has been published in the IEEE Transactions on Computers. The work is motivated uh, by the fact that the human brain, um, this vital organ upon which we all depend so much, um, is still a mystery in terms of how it operates as an information processing system. And with the rate at which the performance of computers is growing, um, we ask two fundamental questions. Can the massively parallel computers that are um, coming our way in the near future be used to accelerate our understanding of the information processing function of the brain? And reflecting that back, can our growing understanding of brain function be used to point the way to building uh, more efficient, more parallel, uh, high-performance computing? So within uh, the Spinnaker project, uh, we are developing a massively parallel computer architecture based on the principles we observe in the brain. The fundamental challenge is to reproduce the very high connectivity of the neurons, the brain cells, where Inside each of our brains we have um, the order of 100 billion neurons and each of these has something like an average of 10,000 connections to other neurons. This connectivity is very challenging to reproduce in a computer system and in Spinnaker we've devised a novel um, multicast packet switch network communication system which is optimised for handling very large numbers of very small packets so that we can build models of large-scale spiking neural networks that operate in biological real-time. The machine is massively parallel. Um, at this stage we've built circuit boards with uh, 48 of our Spinnaker nodes on. Each of these nodes contains 18 ARM processor chips. So this circuit board has 864 ARM processors. In the immediate future we're going to scale the system up by putting multiple boards in racks and cabinets and our ultimate goal is to produce a machine with a million ARM cores. This is uh, a lot of computing power uh, but it's um, somewhat um, um, humbling to recognise that even with a million ARM cores we can only uh, build models of brains which are about 1% of the scale of the human brain and that's making a lot of simplifying um, assumptions about how the cells in the brain work. But anyway, um, in this paper we present an overview of the architecture of the machine, uh, describing in particular how the communications work and how the processors and memory are organised. And I hope you find it interesting. Thank you.